what is up? My name is Haley. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you did not know, now you do. Hey you guys, what's up? So in today's video, y'all, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I'm very excited about this, you guys. I made a small purchase yesterday, as you can see, from the Louis Vuitton, and I'm going to be showing you guys it, reviewing it, talking about it, why I purchased it, why I like it, and yeah. I also want to point out that I'm wearing my pajamas in this video, you guys. I just thought it was a very festive color, so I thought, why not? So if there are wrinkles, I'm sorry. It's because I wear this when I sleep. So yeah, with all that being said, let's get into the backstory and talk about this little box here, or this bag here. If you watched my luxury wish list video and you watched a few of my perfume videos, you will already know what this is. Also by probably the title and thumbnail, you will know what this is as well. I got rid of I think three perfumes recently and I said once I finish three perfumes, I would buy a new luxury perfume. I'm trying to condense my fragrance collection because it's sort of out of hand or it's getting out of hand and there are a lot of scents that I don't wear that often. I just bought them because it was a hype perfume or it was a really good sale or a really good deal. And so what I've decided over the next couple of months is to use up all of the perfumes and then just buy eight signature scents that I really, really love. And so this is one that I really like. I don't remember if this was the one I listed in my luxury wish list, but a long time ago, I got a whole bunch of samples from Louis Vuitton. I think the lady seriously gave me like every single perfume slash cologne that they have in the store. It was probably like 15 fragrances, I kid you not. I even got doubles of some. There was one that I tried out the first day. I loved it and I used it to death. I literally took the top off and tried to drop more out of it, you guys, because it was so delicious. And so this is the bag, you guys. This is the scent inside. I went into the Louis Vuitton store. I knew what I wanted. I wanted a fragrance. And there were three that I chose or that I was choosing between. It was the Rose Devon. Please forgive my pronunciation, you guys. I barely speak English. <laughs> I, I cannot do with these names. Oh my gosh. And then there was a trap privé. I think I call it the dream catcher because I'm pretty sure that's what it means translated. And then there was this one. This is a popular one, you guys. So yeah. Da, 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 da. Um, I didn't want any extra packaging for this. I just wanted to like go out and like with the bag really quickly. And this is it. Now I'm going to try my best to pronounce this how she pronounced it. And I think she said Sir Baton. And I don't know what that means. <laughs> Pretty sure it means something special but this is the box this is the fragrance i also have the receipt in here as well here's the receipt you guys i will go over the pricing with y'all how much i paid for it it was 225 euros and that for me converted like currency exchanged it would be 261 dollars i think i paid for it if i would have gotten the tax back it would have been 189 euros which means it would have probably been like around 200 ish 200 maybe 20 max dollars it was still cheaper for me to buy it in europe than in the united states in the united states i believe it's 265 tax and then I'm from Florida so our tax rate I think where I live is either six and a half or seven so I think it would have came out to like 290 that's how much I paid for it if anybody wonders it's pretty much the same everywhere so yeah let me stop rambling and let me show you guys what it looks like it's gonna take me a while to open it because this is very complicated oh no and the thing is some of these come in plastic xylophone xylophane wrapping and then some don't and she had a bunch there some were in plastic wrapping and some were not and then i thought that they might be returns but it was but it didn't seem like it so it made no sense but i'm not really one to complain as long as everything looks good and it's fine and it has this little sticker which seems ah there you open it like with this little there's a sticker here you peel it off that makes sense oh okay i got the 100 milliliter 3.4 fluid ounce i could have gotten the bigger version but i think that this is like the perfect size it's not too big not too small and yeah you open it like this you guys and then i don't know it's very hard i think my camera is making everything very light so you probably can't see because it's very white this is what the box looks like and it has a little gold stamp on the top that has the lv emblem logo so yeah we can open it up you guys this is what it looks like it's a very pretty color oh i mean you put it right here you can't really tell what color it is but when i put it here in front of the white background wall here you can tell it's like a peachy orange reddish neutral color it's very nice and yeah it has a magnetic top slash closure 
Um, it looks very sexy. I like their bottles. I don't know, simplicity is such a nice thing. A lot of brands, they like to do a little too much when it comes to packaging, like the Caroline, I think it's Herrera, good girl or bad girl perfume, and the shoe. The scent is decent, but I feel like the packaging for me is just over the top and I wouldn't know where to put it and I wouldn't know what to do with it. And I just like simple stuff like this. Easy squirter, easy magnetic top, and then a little bit of branding and that's it. I'm gonna spray it you guys cause I'm gonna wear it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it smells so good though, it's like, mm, wait. I want you guys to see actually, let me not like put it all the way out here. Maybe I'll spray it on my arm like this, this might be better. Wait, one, two, hopefully you guys can see it, okay? Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. And this smells, in my opinion, a lot better than in the store. I don't know if it's because the testers have been used and abused, or I don't know if maybe they spray this or some type of like room scent in the store. Not necessarily this one, it might be this one. I think they might change it up every now and then, but it just smells mm, nicer than in the store. I don't know how to explain it to you guys. But yeah, now I'm gonna talk to you guys about the notes and what's inside of it. Supposedly, it's pear, cascalone, I don't know if I'm pronouncing these right, Ambrette, musk, mallow, Egyptian jasmine, narcissus, narciss, narcissus, ylang ylang, <laughs> moss, and patchouli. And it is described as an aquatic, fruity, white floral, fresh, yellow floral, woody, earthy, sweet, mossy patchouli scent. That is a mouthful. I'm looking on Fragnatica, and I mean, it has a 4.0. It's pretty good, you guys. It's sexy. So, out of Rose Devant and Atrap Brevi, I don't know the name pronunciation. This for me is like a sexier, woodsier, smokier, pepperier scent than those. I love those scents as well. They're very girly. They're very sexy and sweet. Every time I wear them, I get compliments because I have so many samples of them, you guys. And when I go out, I like to like keep them in my bag and some people are like, oh, what's that scent? Like people come up to me and ask me. And so it's a very popular, nice scent or those scents are very popular and nice. But this for me is just like, a notch above them. It's like I said, very sexy, very dark. It's darker than those scents. I know that Louis Vuitton has other scents as well, but this for me is just like, mm, 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 mm. this smells like money. This smells like, oh, rich girl vibes. It, <laughs> I don't got rich girl vibes, but this perfume makes me smell like it. And it just smells like Louis Vuitton. So if you have been into a Louis Vuitton store, most likely you've smelt this scent either from people spraying it everywhere or people there wearing it, who knows, but this is what Louis Vuitton smells like. Also, the thing that I noticed with this scent is that it lasted a lot longer on than the other scents that Louis Vuitton had or the ones that I've tried so far. I've tried a bunch, you guys. It had the most, how do you say, throw. So when you walk into a room and you want it to like go further than you are, not just stay concentrated on you. You want other people to smell it around you. This fragrance did that for me. I like it, I'm happy with it. I think that for 225 euros, $260, it's not bad. I paid, I think 100 and no, that was the euros too. So I paid maybe like 200 something dollars for my Maison Francis Kirk de Jean, or was it 200 or less than $200 for my Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Baccarat Rouge one and a half or 1.7 fluid ounce which is one half of this so I think I'm getting a good deal and the thing is that when you purchase this what you can do is that you go to Louis Vuitton you take this with you and you can refill it for I believe 140 euros so it's probably like around 150 to 160 dollars which is decent price in my opinion for a luxury brand perfume. I know for a lot of people it's just water with a scent, but for me, I love perfumes. I find them to be an awesome way to get into luxury and to have a piece of luxury. And a scent is something that is like a signature for you. It's like when you're leaving your signature on a piece of paper, you are doing this with a fragrance as well when you walk out of a room and your fragrance lingers or people associate a scent with you. And I most likely will purchase the Rose Devant because it is a very nice 
nice rose scent that doesn't smell like an overpowering rose. And then also I have a, where is it, the sample here. I will insert, because I can't, like I said, I can't pronounce it, you guys. The Le Jeu C'est Le Vie, Le Vie, Le Vie, Le Vie. Um, this is awesome too. This is very fresh scent in my opinion compared to the rest of the scents that I've tried out. I like this one a lot too. Maybe I try this in store again and see if I like it and maybe I'll add this to my list. So yeah, hopefully in eight months time you guys will see me with a very condensed luxury perfume collection. We don't know yet. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If not, then hopefully you can find another video of mine that you like. So have a wonderful day and bye.